morning. I started my coffee without you. I just wanted to say good morning. I haven't done a video in a minute. The last time I did a video, um, my face wasn't on it. It was an audio video. I did medica meditation. So I figured I'd come on here and do another YouTube video um, chit-chatting with you guys while I make my coffee. Let's see what's percolating. Let's see what's going on. So good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Saturday. It's October 12th. 14 years ago today, I was asleep. And my water broke. And I woke up my husband and I said, it's time, let's go. The thing is, I was just seven months pregnant. But my baby came out, he wanted to come home. So I had my baby um, and we spent a month in the NICU. Um, and I breastfed and I met some other mothers who I'm still in touch with today. Um, with premature babies, um, breast milk is, you know, imperative. It's like gold. So that's what the mothers had to do. All the mothers that had the premature children had to pump and they had to feed their babies breast milk. Now the thing is, unfortunately, um, at seven months, you're not fully capable of lactating because your baby hasn't cooked for the whole nine months. So I had to um, really get aggressive with getting the milk out to make sure that he was able to get it. And he helped with his little self. Um, anyways, for fast, it was, it was a tough experience, but um, he, he was a strong little boy who wanted to be with his mommy as much as his mommy wanted to be with him. So we worked together in the NICU for about three weeks, and then I brought him home. And he's been a dream ever since. Um, he's 14 years old today, and he's a big boy, he's strong, and sometimes I even forget that I had him a little early <clears throat> because he's so smart, and he's so loving, he's so sweet. He's a male version of me, sometimes I feel like. Um, but yeah, today's his birthday, and uh, so the day is going to be dedicated to him. So we're going to have some of his friends um, join us um, at a park, fun spot, and we're going to have a good time. Some adults are going to be there as well, but um, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm proud of him. He's a blessing. I had a hard time getting pregnant with him. I had to do IVF. Um, and he wasn't a product of IVF. The IVF didn't work. I didn't get pregnant. And then maybe six months later, I just got pregnant for free. <laughs> but um, I s sometimes think that the IVF kind of prepared my body um, for the pregnancy so that um, when I relaxed, it was able to happen. Um, so yeah, I have IVF stories. I have premature baby stories. I have tons of stories. Um, and I'll get into them at some point. But fast forward 14 years later, I have two children. One that's 28 years old, my daughter. And I had her at the time when I was doing IVF. So I wasn't considered completely infertile because I had a child. Um, and then my 14 year old son, our 14 year old son. And today's his birthday. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to get on here while I'm making my coffee and tell you about what's been going on with me. I had a great couple of weeks. I didn't uh, record last week because I was out of town. I was in Houston. And I was uh, helping my sisters um, with some really important business. Um, but, you know, we took care of that check done and now I'm back home and um, this upcoming week 
what I'm really anxious about, which I keep mentioning to you guys, is um, my Invisalign. So that's going to be a part of our conversations going forward as well. My voice is a little off this morning, pardon me. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you on here. Look at my hair, it's growing, guys. See? Can you see it? It's growing. I really don't want to twist my roots. So I'm not sure if I could get away with just leaving it. Remember, I wash it and oil it. Can you see it? You guys can see it. I wash it and oil it. That's it. I do not put dressings on this part at all because it makes it heavy and there's no reason for it. It's naturally shiny. It's human hair, so I don't I don't mess with it. You remember it's it's October now. I remember I got it done in May. I think it was May, May or June. So this is four months. Four months of growth. I think we're good, we're good right? We're doing good. <laughs> I'm happy with it. All right, so let me start my day. Coffee's about ready. Thanks for hanging out with me. Right? Listen, feel free to comment and let me know if you want me to say anything specific. Things are gonna get really, really interesting when I start my Invisalign, remember? I'm closing my gap. I gotta look over here. I always look over here. I gotta look over here. Look over here. I'm closing my gap. I don't know, fixing my bite. See how the vac, these teeth go. If it go too far up, I'm going to fix my bike. So I'm getting my Invisalign this week. I am scared. I've never had anything in my mouth. I've been blessed for these 51 years to have pretty decent teeth. So here we go. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to. And I got a new selfie stick. I do all my own videos, right? You guys know that, right? Because I can't get my son to help me. I can't get my daughter to help me. Let's see, this is my kitchen. I love these selfie sticks. I tell you. Make sure you have a plant in your kitchen. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm getting a little better. My sister has awesome equipment. She gave me one, but I actually forgot about it. But anyway, yeah. That's what's new with me. So I'll be back next week, okay? So stay tuned. Leave a comment.